it's Demi, and today I am back at Universal's Aventura Hotel. This is a Universal Hotel. You can get here by shuttle bus from Universal City Walk for free. And I have done a full tour of this hotel, showing you everything here, the room, and going over the benefits you get when you stay here. And I will link that for you here and put in the description box below. But today we are heading to the top. We are heading to Bar 17 Bistro at the very top of the Aventura Hotel. This is a bar, it has small bites, it's open pretty late, 12 a.m. on weekdays and 1 a.m. on weekends. So we're gonna see, maybe this is a cool place to come after the parks are closed for some universal nightlife. So let's get in there, let's check out Bar 17 Bistro and let's go get into some hijinks. So after you walk into Aventura, head to the right and you'll reach the elevators. And then all the way in the back, something very, very cool. Bar 17 Bistro has their own elevator. It starts working after 5 p.m. That's when they open. You're gonna come over here and press its own little button. Never mind the express elevator didn't work, but if you come into one of the regular elevators, it is very clearly marked where you need to go for Bar 17 Bistro on the 17th floor. And let's just walk out this side door where it says Bar 17 Bistro. And here we are. It says, please seat yourself. A server will assist you momentarily. Thank you. It is so nice up here. It's like a little closed off, like in case of rain, but it's open. So all the air flows, plus there's fans, especially when it gets really hot here. And wow, look at this view. You can see Fun Spot. You can see Universal's Dockside Inn and Surfside Inn. I've done tours for both of those hotels. I'll link them here, go check them out. And then on the other side, which, oh my gosh, it feels very cool to look down like that. Um, but don't come over here if you have a fear of heights. You can see Cabana Bay, you can see their buildings. And then if we keep going further down this way, you can see Volcano Bay so clearly. Look how beautiful it looks all lit up at night. That is just so gorgeous. The video is not doing it justice. You can even see the hot tub for this hotel right below. They look so small. Oh my goodness, gosh. And you can even see Icon Park. There is the wheel at Icon Park. I did the Icon Park Play Pass. I highly recommend checking that out. It's a great way to break up your trip when you're coming to Orlando. They have fun attractions. I'll link that video for you here and I'll put it in the description box below. But like, wow, this is so, so nice. I love going to rooftop bars in New York City. It's where I'm from. And it's like doing that, but you're just surrounded by theme parks, which is so different and, and so cool. And I, I'm absolutely obsessed with it, especially seeing Volcano Bay all lit up like that. It's just so gorgeous. There are lots of different types of seating here, like these really cool funky chairs like this. Patio style furniture with the cushions and like you can sit right near the window for an incredible view. They do have regular tables and chairs if those seats are too low for you. And they do have bar seating as well. They have a few TVs playing sports. Obviously alcoholic beverages may not be sold to or consumed by the person under 21 age. Please be ready to show your ID. So if you're under 21, you can come here, but you need to show your ID when you are drinking and it says one alcoholic drink max per person per order so you can't go up to the bar and order two even if the drink was for someone else only one per person i grab myself a seat right next to cabana bay and also have a lovely view of volcano bay with these cushioned chairs while i wait for my friend to show up let me tell you about the menu first they have signature bows they're 18 dollars each they have a sweet chili shrimp a crispy pork belly a barbecue jackfruit and a coffee braised beef. And then they have seasonal bows. For small plates, there are roasted Brussels sprouts, roasted cauliflower, Parmesan fries, avocado toast, a grilled cheese, and beef empanada. Their house specialties, they have a burger, they have shrimp ceviche, the 17 salad, grill and chill Caesar, crispy fried wings, and a cheese board. Make sure to tell your server about any dietary needs and 18% gratuity is added to parties of six or more. Let's take a look at their cocktails. They have a spicy margarita, a sunset punch, a PB rye old fashioned, a classic margarita, a blood orange Cosmo. It's a wrap, which is vodka, raspberry, lemon, mint, and soda water, a create your own mule, and one in a melon, which is Tito's vodka, St. Germain, melon, fresh pear, and lemon. Plus they have different wines and beer and hard seltzers. The only thing they can't do is frozen or any cream-based 
drinks here. I of course ordered a cocktail. I got the one in a melon. It's Tito's and pear and melon and Saint Germain and lemon and it looks amazing. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Ooh, that is so yummy. It's very tart, but then you get that sweetness from the pear, which is apparently fresh, which is awesome. That is very tasty. It's very light, very simple and tart, and like it's definitely something very easy to be able to drink after a long day at these exhausting parks. So I'm here with my friend Alexa. You may know her from the TikToks. I'll put her channel below. She's the best. She's so fun. And she ordered the, she drank some of it already, but it was the, it's a rasp. It's the Grey Goose Vodka Raspberry Lemon Mint and Soda Water. How was it? 10 out of 10. Really light, refreshing. My one thing is I did want it in a, like a cute little martini glass like Demi says because that makes me feel like more fancy. <laughs> and the glass it comes in is like one of those ones you want to like be more like at a pool side. Like a hurricane glass. Yes, yeah. And but also it's a giant drink. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot. There's a lot of drink in there. And I like the mint. You can tell like they slap that. They slap that mint before putting it in there because like, every time you take a drink you can smell all the mint coming off of that. So, But I would get hers next because I want that martini glass. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look, there's fireworks. I don't know where this is coming from, but that is so cool. That is amazing. And this is why you get a window seat at the rooftop bar. This is amazing. Here is our haul. Everything smells so amazing. First, we have the grilled cheese. It's cheddar, brie, and provolone with a roasted tomato dipping sauce. Looks amazing. Next, we have roasted Brussels sprouts with champagne aioli. And finally, we have some buffalo cauliflower with some ranch. It all looks so good. Let's dig in. Obviously, we are trying this grilled cheese first. That is my favorite thing ever. I love grilled cheese. Let's give it a try. This is really good. All these cheeses together are really good flavor. I obviously love a tomato dip. I'm a mess, but that is so good. It's like a really good like enhanced grilled cheese because you have all those extra yummy cheeses, the brie and the provolone. Very, very, very tasty. How do you like the grilled cheese? It's fabulous, oh my gosh. I am lactose intolerant, so I won't be making a sacrifice today, but it's worth it. And I like that the um, tomato Dippage, it's not like soupy. It is like an actual dip. Yes. And so it adds to really rich and has some good flavors to it. And they really, I like that they actually buttered the bread. Because yes. I feel like um, sometimes like people can send out stuff like that and it's like, has doesn't have the crisp you want that you get from a buttered bread. Absolutely. So I would, I would get that again. Absolutely. Yeah, worth it. We have come to the conclusion that this is Magic Kingdom fireworks because it's the right time at night for it to happen. And you see like that little glow of light right over there. I know it's like super zoomed in and it's hard to see, but it looks like the contemporary all lit up and I don't I don't know what else it could be at this point. I'm we're we're going with Magic Kingdom final answer. Let's try these Brussels sprouts. Love those. Really, really, really nice char on those Brussels sprouts. And it is a classic mayo based aioli. Nice spice to it, not too spicy, very creamy very, very tasty. And look, we're eating our vegetables. I feel like I'm accomplishing something for once in theme park land is eating actual vegetables. I'm, this is a win today. And time to try the other vegetable, that buffalo cauliflower. Mm -hmm. So good with that ranch, creamy. Ooh, a little bit of heat. There's the heat. Really great flavor. Crunchy cauliflower, not mushy. Ooh, really feeling the heat, really tasty. I am very happy with all the food here that we have tried. I think everything was really good. I feel good that we ate really yummy vegetables. Eat your vegetables. That sound that I hear all the time on the TikToks. Eat your vegetables! I did it today and I feel really proud of myself, but I also got to have grilled cheese which is great. So, it's a win. It's, I, call this, I call this such a double win today that I get to have grilled cheese and vegetables. Cheers. I decided to get another cocktail. This is the spicy margarita. It has real 
hot peppers in there. It has a salt rim. I'm very excited to try this. I'm really excited about this one. Whoa, that spice really hits your throat right away. Um, the salt rim though is like so salty with it, but like it works really well. It's just straight up like cold and spice, but I like it. Ooh, because then you get that lime flavor from the margarita. Mmm, that is good. The tequila isn't very like heavy. It's like, very subtle because it's just really super spicy that it's just the most you're tasting is spice. But I am here for it. If you like a spicy marg, I definitely recommend this. I love that there's actual peppers in this. Cheers. Um, okay, so that's where we came in. And Alexa just found this whole other section. Look at this. Oh my God, there's so, many, so much room for activities here. But through this side, we're gonna be able to see Universal. I see, I see the Islands of Adventure Lighthouse from here. Oh, there is Hogwarts. That's amazing. There's Rip Ride Rocket. I know it's hard to see because you're looking through a lens, through a glass in the middle of the night with shining lights, but that is amazing how you can see Universal from here. And you can see Sapphire Falls below us. And uh, I did a full tour of Sapphire Falls. Go check it out. It's a beautiful resort. I will link it here and I'll put it in the description below. But this is just so beautiful. You can see the lighthouse for Islands of Adventure. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. And if you're looking at Hogwarts on the left, peeking out, a little down to the right, that is the Jurassic Park hut for their restaurants. It's like a thatched roof thing. Yes, it's hard to levels. see in the camera, but yeah, you can see that. And then to the right is the Popeye's ride boat. And that's yes. nice to see because like, it's the string lights. It's so blurry in this video, and I'm so sorry, everyone, but that is so cool. In person, it's way more impressive. And then to the right, right over there, that's the Rip Ride. Yep, that's Rip Ride Rocket there. Oh my God, this is amazing. This place is such a hidden gem. We just noticed, if you see this pink little dot, <gasps> that's Spaceship Earth, it's Epcot. This is so cool. You could see everything from here. So it's about 10 o'clock right now, and I think there was a conference, because all of a sudden, a bunch of people came in. It wasn't loud here at all, and now it just got a little loud. So just giving you a warning, it's, you know, it is a bar, you know, just, you know, that may happen to you, but before that, it was, not loud at all. Someone definitely lit up a cigarette, which is, I don't believe, allowed, um, but they're not supposed to, but that, that's just the reality. This is the bar, I just wanted to give you real world, so you, if this happens to you when you come, you know what to expect, but I'm just going to take the last few minutes of sitting here, hanging out with Alexa, drinking my drink, looking at this beautiful view. I mean, come on, come on. And, and enjoy it. Cheers to you guys. Well, my dudes, that was Bar 17 here at Universal's Aventura Hotel. I highly recommend coming here and ending your night one time after being in the parks all day in this beautiful rooftop bar. It is just gorgeous up here. You have amazing breezes. You have amazing views. The food is really good. The drinks are on point and they weren't too expensive. The only thing I found was a little expensive was, was the bao buns, why we didn't get them, but the food we got was delicious. The service was awesome. Our server was so kind. This is such a great place to end your night and it is open really late. So you have the entire night here after the parks close. Highly recommend it. Super easy to get to. Just hop on the Aventura bus over in uh, Universal City Walk. And there you go. If you decide to park here, just make sure that you tell your server and they will give you something for validated parking so that you can park here for free. Having a rooftop bar with free parking, kind of amazing, especially in Orlando. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Check out the Patreon, become a patron. You'll get exclusive bonus content, bonus lives. Um, access to the Discord, help with trip planning, and so much more, and you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content like this on this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys can do some hijinks very, very soon. Ha-ba-bye!